So <clears throat> this video is for the asynchronous day um, to go along with the classwork for those of us who need to um, get a little help on the problems or if you want to check your answers. Um, so on this, this is called choosing a strategy for solving a system. When you have a system of equations to solve, how do you know which method to use? Today, you will focus on how to choose a strategy that is the most convenient and efficient for solving a system of equations. So on 6-112, Erica works in a soda bottling factory. As the bottles pass her on the conveyor belt, she puts the caps on them. Unfortunately, Erica sometimes breaks a bottle before she can cap it. She gets paid four cents for every bottle she successfully caps, but her boss deducts two cents from her paycheck for each bottle she breaks. Erica is having a bad morning. 15 bottles have come her way, but she's been um, breaking some and has only earned six cents uh, so far today. How many bottles has Erica capped and how many has she broken? Write a system of equations representing this situation. So um, we are going to, so we know that when she successfully caps them, she gets four cents. When she breaks them, she gets, uh, she has to be deducted two cents. And we wanna know how many bottles uh, did she cap and how many bottles did she break? So I am going to let C equal number, oops, I got my C. Um, let's see equal number of capped bottles. And I'm going to let um, B equal number of broken bottles. And we need to write a system. So we need to write two equations. And so those two equations, that over, these two equations that we need to write um, are going to be dealing with um, the information they gave us here. So one bit of information that they, they gave us was the following. We know that um, if we, so, Two bits we know. We know that there are 15 bottles that have come her way. So there's 15 total bottles. So if I take C plus B, that should equal 15. The capped plus the broken should equal 15. Um, we also know that she gets paid four cents for each one that's capped successfully. And the boss deducts two cents from each one that um, she breaks and she has only earned six cents so far. So I'm gonna write an equation for that. So $4 for each cap, so four, I mean, not $4, four cents plus, uh, sorry, minus, cause this is a uh, deducting, minus two for each broken is equal to six, six cents. And so that's gonna be our system. Now, looking at this system, both of them are in what we call standard form. Neither one of them is like a C equal or a B equal where we might use equal values or substitution. So what I think I'm going to do, and um, I'm gonna copy this. And so when I'm doing this, um, I am going to multiply the top equation, I think by two, so I can eliminate my Bs. So I'm gonna end up getting two C plus two B equals 30, four C minus two B is equal to six. And I'm gonna add these two equations together. And so when I do, I am going to end up getting six C my B's cancel out is equal to 36. So she capped six. And I know that she had a total of 15. So I'm gonna go 15 minus six, which is nine. So my broken ones were nine. So she capped six and she broke nine. And so that's gonna be the answer to this 
question. On the next one, what we're doing is we're trying to decide which method would be the best method to use. And you can circle or highlight the one that you think is correct, equal values, substitution, or elimination. So I'm gonna grab a highlight. Let's say I do it in yellow. Okay, so for this one, I have one of them in X equal form, the other one's not. So that's going to be substitution. On B, neither one of them is in Y equal or X equal form. So we're gonna use elimination on that one. On C, I have two of them in, e, in um, X equal form. So let's use equal values. On D, um, I have one of them in X equal form. It's This one's X equal. It doesn't look like it because you don't see it over here, but it is X equal. And so I can substitute. Okay, so I'm gonna use substitution. Um, on E, um, we have D equal here. So we can substitute in what D is equal to into the D in the second equation. So we're gonna do substitution. On letter F, neither one of them is in uh, Y equal form or X equal form. So we're gonna use elimination. Um, on G, again, neither one of them has Y equal or X equal form, so that's elimination. Now, in this case, I'm going to um, just circle real quick. This X minus 3, that is um, in that equation and it is in this equation. So I'm actually going to substitute, but I'm not going to substitute. I could substitute the Y into the y and put an x minus three, but I think I'm in place of my x minus three, I'm gonna put y. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to use a substitution. So now on the next page, we're actually going to solve these, okay? So this one here, letter A, um, I am going to, take, sorry, I was trying to get rid of this. Um, I am going to take this four minus two Y and put it in place of X in this equation. So I am going to have three times four minus two Y minus two Y is equal to four. Okay, substituting in place of the X. I'm going to distribute. So I'm gonna get 12 minus, distribute again, 6y minus 2y equal four. I'm gonna solve. Um, I've got a negative 6y and a negative 2y on the same side. So that's gonna be 12 minus 8y is equal to four. So I get negative 8y. I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides and get a negative eight. And I get y is equal to one. So now I'm going to take that and I'm going to substitute that into either equation, but I'm gonna use the top one. So x is equal to four minus two times my y, which is one. So I get four minus two or two. So my point of intersection, my solution is gonna be two comma one. That is my solution. On letter B, um, this one, uh, we're gonna use elimination. I need to make one of the equations um, a negative. So I'm gonna do it to the top one. And so let me just rewrite that right here. So negative three X minus Y equals a negative one. And then I am going to add these two equations together and I get X, my Y's cancel out is equal to one. 
And I'm going to put it maybe into the top equation. So three times one plus y equals one, three plus y equals one, y is equal to negative two. So my answer is one comma negative two. On letter C, um, I have x minus five y plus two and x, sorry, x equals negative five y plus two and x equals three y minus two. So I'm gonna do equal values because again, both of them are equal to x. So I can set them equal to each other. So I am gonna have negative five y plus two is equal to three y minus two. I am going to add five y, add five y, and I end up with two is equal to eight y minus two. I'm gonna add two, I'm gonna add two. And I get four is equal to eight y. I divide by, uh, by eight and I get four over eight is equal to y or one half. And I am going to substitute that into, I think I'm gonna do it into this equation. So I'm gonna get x is equal to three times one half minus two. So I get x is equal to three halves minus two. And if I wanted to, I can get a common denominator. So this two is really over one. So I'm gonna times top and bottom by a two to get a common denominator. And so I'm gonna get a uh, minus four, over two. So I get X is equal to negative one half. And so my answer is negative one half comma one half. Okay, letter D. Now for this one, um, what I'm gonna do is I know that this 2y plus 6 is the same as my x. So up here in place of my x, I'm going to put 2y plus 6. So I'm going to start with 2y minus 4 times my x, which is 2y plus 6 is equal to 10. Um, 2y minus 8y minus 24 when I distribute is equal to 10. Um, I've got some like things on the same side of the equal, so that 2y minus 8y is going to become a negative 6y. Minus 24 equals 10. I'm going to add 24, so I get a negative 6y is equal to 34. So y is equal to a negative 34 over 6. Um, I can reduce that, so it'll be a negative 17 over 3 when I divide by 2. And then I'm gonna put that into either equation. And I think I'm gonna put it into the top one. I'm sorry, not the top one, the um, bottom one, that one right there. So when I do, I'm gonna get two times a negative 17 over three plus six is equal to X. And when I put that in my calculator, I ended up with a negative 16 over three is equal to X. So my answer for this is going to be negative 16 thirds comma negative 17 thirds. And on the next page, um, so on this one, 
Um, I noticed that this is what D is equal to. So I'm going to put that in place of D. So I'm going to get three times, and here I'm going to do it this way, um, three bracket, two times seven plus W, close my bracket, is equal to 15 times seven minus W. So um, I'm going to get really six times seven plus W. And when I do 15 times seven, I get a 105 minus 15 W. Um, let me distribute on the other side. So 42 plus six W equals 105 minus 15 W. I'm gonna add 15 W to both sides. So I'm gonna get 21 W. I'm gonna subtract 42 from both sides. And when I take 105 minus 42, I end up with 63. And when I divide 21 into 63, that actually does go nice. And I get three. So I know my W is three. So I'm going to take that and put it into, I think the top equation to find my D. So D is equal to two times seven plus three. So that is going to be basically two times 10 or 20. And so that's gonna be our answer. So if I do D comma W, I'm gonna have 20 comma three. Letter F. So on F, um, I'm thinking substitute, I mean, not substitution, sorry, elimination. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by a two. So when I do, I get six X minus two Y equals a negative, whoops, um, a negative 76. I'm going to write the top equation down here. So that's going to be a negative 6x plus 2y is equal to 76. When I add my x's cancel, my y's cancel, I get 0 is equal to 0. So my answer So my answer is going to be um, that they are the same line. And so we're gonna write it as X comma Y such that, and give me either equation. I'm gonna do the one that seems a little simpler. So three X minus Y equals negative 38. Okay, next one. Um, let me just box my answer, sorry, didn't box my answers. That and then this one here is the equation because it's every point on that line. Okay, so on G, um, I think I'm gonna times the top by a three. And when I do, I get 15X plus nine Y equals a negative 18. I'm gonna add both equations together and I get a 17X is equal to zero. So X is equal to zero. And I'm going to put that into, I think maybe I'll do it into the bottom equation. So I'm gonna have two times zero minus nine Y equals 18. So I get negative nine Y equals 18 and y is equal to negative two. So my answer is going to be zero comma negative two. There you go. And h. So on h, um, for this one, I, a couple ways I can do it, but what I had mentioned before is that and here I'm gonna highlight, I'm gonna take 
this x minus 3. Um, and in place of this x minus 3, I'm going to put a y. So I see that I have y equals this. So I'm going to put a y right in place of that. So I'm going to have 2y minus y equals 7. So y equals 7. And then I am going to put it into the top equation. So I'm going to have x minus 3 equals 7. So x is equal to 10. So we end up with 10 comma 7. So again, hopefully this is helpful for those of us who need a little extra guidance. Um, and hopefully you got them right if you were checking your answers. Have a nice spring break.